Hi, my name is Diana and I'm a children's art instructor at Visual Arts Brampton. Today we're going to be doing Mahubani folk art. Mahubani art is an Indian art style practiced in the Mihila region of Bihar State, India. This style is characterized by a white border around objects, geometric shapes, colorful design, and repetitive line patterns. In traditional art style, fingers are used, brushes, twigs, and even matchsticks to create the designs. The bright colors are made from pigments and dyes found in nature and in plants. Traditional colors are red, orange, blue, green, and yellow. The paintings focus on folk themes and animals that represent symbols and values found in the culture. Now we'll get started. If you look at the fish I have here, there's lots of curved lines. Some are long and some are short, and some represent the letter C. Think of that when you're drawing your fish. Using our pencil, we're going to draw a nice long curved line on our blank sheet of paper. We're going to have this line be in the middle of our page to represent the top of the fish. Now we're going to draw the bottom of our fish using another curved line that's upside down. We're going to start here, so we have the tip of the fish's face. We're going to leave some space so we could draw the tail. We're going to start by drawing the tail with a nice curved line that represents the letter C. And we're going to make it nice and big and nice and curved. We're going to do the same on the other side. Start at the line you drew at the bottom and do a nice big C. And you could add a little bit more line if you like, if you want it extra curved. Now, we're gonna start at the first curve of the fish, this tail, and we're going to do a line that represents a backwards E. You can go around, we're going to do a bounce in the middle, and we're going to do the same on the other side, go around, until we hit the tip of the other line. Mahubani art is often characterized by a white border around all objects. We're going to start at the tip of our fish and leave a little bit of space. Then we're going to outline the entire object with a nice border. Not too thin and not too thick. Be careful around the tail of your fish because that's a tight area. Now we're going to add the fins of our fish. We're going to be using a shape that looks like half a heart on the top of our fish's border. And don't forget to make your border around that object. Next, we're going to add the fish's fin, which is their arm, at the bottom of our fish. This one's going to be a little bit smaller and also looks like half of a heart. Don't forget to add the border. Next, 
we're going to use a curved line in the inside of our fish to divide the face with the rest of the body. Now draw the face of your fish. Draw some eyes. And draw a nice smile. Next, we're going to add some curved lines to divide the fish's body up until we reach the tail. This is where we're gonna put all our fancy designs. We're gonna add about four lines. One. Two. Three. And four. We're gonna add a few more lines for the tail. and stop once it begins to curve. Now that we've finished drawing our fish, we're gonna use a black Sharpie to outline all the pencil lines that we drew. Let your ink dry for a moment to avoid smudging and use the eraser to erase any pencil lines that are visible. Now that we are finished drawing our fish, we're gonna fill in the fin areas, the body, and the tail with creative line patterns. Once you finish designing your patterns, let the ink dry before using colorful markers to color in your fish. Remember to color neatly and stay inside the lines so your picture looks nice and neat. Don't color the white border as it's supposed to stay white to represent the Indian Mahubani art style.
And now you're done with your Mahubani folk art fish. Don't forget to sign your name next to your fish. Make sure you write the year. And you're done. Great work. Thank you for watching. And for more information, you can visit our website at visualartsbrampton.com.